we're seeing the strength of the BRICS rise, right? Increase. Yep. Other countries want to be added on. We see Putin's New Year's Eve message embracing China, Brazil, and India. Hey, we're all friends now. Chummy, chummy friends. Uh, talk to me about your thoughts on the BRICS and what, it, how that role may change here. If China didn't have its zero interest rate policy, the uh, zero COVID policy, we were forecasting that China was going to be the largest economy in the world within seven years. This has really slowed it down. China and Russia have united. The BRICS have united. They are tired of the West running the world. And there are more of them than us. It's all in the numbers. When you're looking at China, and, and again, it's this baloney, you know, that, oh, their birth rate is going down. You got 1.4 billion people over there. You got 332 million in America. You got, what, about 300, what, 40 million in, in, in Europe. It's all about the numbers. So when you start putting all the bricks in and then you start bringing in the other countries, you know, uh, Indonesia and on and on and on. No, the future is going in that direction. But the U.S. is Because here's the deal. The business of China is business, as with their, you know, their, um, their brick road, their road initiative, you know, built, you know what, they, what they've done. The business of America is war. So as America and Europe, and again, I just read to you what Stoltenberg is saying, what all the Europeans are doing, putting more and more and more and more and more money into the military, as the other countries are putting more and more and more money into building their economies. Right. Okay. So are they doing that because they see what's coming with the BRICS? I mean, obviously the U.S. is looking at this thinking, hmm, how do we maintain our superpower status here? if the bricks keep growing. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. When all else fails, they take you to war. I talked about what Roosevelt did in 1941. What happened before that? There was a thing called the Great Depression. When all else fails, they take you to war. Go back to the dot-com bust. Again, in our Trends Journal magazine, October 1999, the headline, dot-com bust, busted in March of 2000. Oh, you mean the day before 9-11, the NASDAQ was only down 66%, 9-11 happens, all forgotten. We'll create a new fake thing, we'll have a fake real estate market, a derivatives thing, we'll make up anything we can. So that's what we're saying. The United States isn't about the bottom line. The United States way out is with war. I mean, look, you, you can't make this stuff up. Look at the guy that plays the United States Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin. What was he? Oh, he was a general. No, no, after he became a general, you mean he sat on the board as directors of Raytheon, the second largest defense contractor in the United States? Oh, by the way, look at their stocks since this has gone up. Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, all the defense contractors. Boom, boom, boom. So that's where the United States is going. China and the BRICS are going in another direction. And then going back to gold. Look at all the gold that was bought up by the central banks in 2022. Well, yeah, and I want to get bring that up. I want to talk gold in a second. Uh, but want to stay on. Uh, I want to stick to the Fed for a second because you brought brought up the Fed. I want to know where you think they're headed. You, you mentioned we might see another rate hike. We all know they want to slow down because inflation is cooling. Um, where do they go from here? What trend do you see with the Fed? Again, it's a guessing game because let's go back. We we had forecast in the Trends Journal, by the way, that if there was not a Santa Claus rally in twenty twenty. Two, yeah. which just passed, it's going to go down deep in the first three months of 2023. However, you cannot forecast what they're going to do. It's a guessing game to, regarding the feds because let's go back to December 2018. Woo! The markets are going down really sharp. 
Donald Trump put extreme pressure on Jerome Powell to lower interest rates. Just before that, going back into November, Powell said they weren't going to raise interest rates. They did. He said Powell came back in early January giving the message that they were going to lower interest rates. So the power of the president is very strong. And again, the financial business, they're the ones that run the show, the Black Rocks and the and the Blackstones and the, all the private equity groups that are in charge, if they put pressure on the Fed to lower interest rates, they're going to do it. It's not about we the people. It's about the ones running the show. What are the chances of QE creeping back in in 2023? Uh, very good question. I called it wrong in 2012. I thought the economy was going to crash in 2012. They invented a thing called quantitative easing. They didn't teach us that in Economics 101 at graduate school, nor did they teach us about zero and negative interest rate policy. They could come up with anything. Again, it, 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 oh, you were talking about the epiphany, right? What happened, what happened when, yeah, Trends Journal Magazine from back in, what, 2011. Did that look familiar? What happened when the Prince of Peace drove the money changes out of the temple? Woof! Three days later, the cat's hanging on the cross. So they're going to make up anything they want. They're, they're the, money, the money people are in charge. Anybody that thinks they have a government of we the people they're still being taught in kindergarten to, to K-12 and, and, and graduate school. That's who's in control of the government. You made headlines with this statement. The Fed will seize all your money. How? Again, by they, they're going to they, they, they're going to do anything they can to control our lives. Look, look what's going on with the interest rates, right? What, what's the, what's the, uh, the inflation rate? Oh, it hit 10.7%. You're still deep in negative, trend, negative territory. So in the United States, what do, you, what do you have? You have inflation rate, it's what, 7.1? And you have, what, a 4.5, you know, 5? You know, you're still in negative territory. So here's what they're going to do. This is going to be the year we believe that we're going to start seeing going from dirty cash to digital trash. They're going to make up something new. And that's the way they're going to get out of this thing. Look at the United States. Just passed, what, a $1.7 trillion budget when you have a, a $30.1 trillion deficit? They're going to make something up. Here, the Russians just hacked our banking system. You can't get your money out. But don't worry about it. We're coming up with a new currency. They'll make up anything. Oh, going back to, I said, when all else fails, they take you to war. The guy that was the, uh, the president, FDR. Oh, that's the guy. You don't own gold anymore. Bring your gold into us or else you go to jail. They'll make up anything. And I believe this is going to be the year where there's going to be a big push toward a um, digital currency, so and that's the, the way year, the Fed's going to get us. This is the year that the, 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 the road begins towards yep. the bank digital currency. Yep. In the U.S. Matter of fact, that's the way we see it happening, and it's going to go, go like that, like that, like that. And we're doing this to protect you so we can know every penny that you spent, where you spent it, what you spent it on, so we can get the tax money because we're politicians and we don't work a day in our lives and we need your money and all the little clowns that we call public servants that work for us that do what we tell them to do so we can keep them paid so we get all your money. That's where this thing is going. And I say to people, if you're keeping money in the bank, why are you keeping it there?